This is the Dollamore Daily, and I'm Jesse Dollar. There's an organization out there that's called Vote Vets. It's a progressive veterans group. And from time to time, they do work that I want to highlight. And in this case, it's one of those moments. Lauren Boebert, and she has her compatriots out there, but specifically today, I want to talk about Lauren Boebert and her pernicious uh, fake-triotness. She, she wants to act like she's a big patriot, that she's, I'm here for the troops and the veterans, and then does everything in contravention to that standpoint, to that, that claim of who she supports. She didn't support the PACT Act to, to support the, the, the terrible health outcomes that have come from the burn pits. If you're in a, a forward uh, area in, in, in the Middle East and some of our terrible foreign policy decisions to be involved in wars over there and the, the manner with which we tru- tre- treat our troops on the ground, active troops who then become disabled veterans based on it, uh, it's, it's, a, it's an issue that, that, is, that is dear to my heart. Having served in the United States Marine Corps for as long as I did, uh, sustaining injuries myself. I dislocated my hip and my knee in a training accident on a, on a Marine Corps motorcycle, believe it or not, and they almost had to amputate my leg. I have a disability designation with the Veterans Department. So this is, this is real for me. Politicians who claim uh, with reverence to, oh, we love the vets, we want to support the vets, but really don't put it into action with their votes because that's what matters here. Your words, Lauren Boebert, ring hollow. They are empty. They are nothing but words. They serve no one. They may, might make somebody feel good for a moment, but when it comes to actually helping vets, it takes money. It takes policy that is funded by that money. So Vote Vets put out an, uh, this, this ad, this skewering ad that really gets to the heart of the facts of just how much she does not love vets and in fact holds them in derision and votes in a manner that disrespects them. Watch this. And so grateful for the freedom we all enjoy because of you. Congresswoman Boebert sure has a funny way of thanking us for our service. She just voted a 22% cut to veterans programs, cutting 30 million VA outpatient visits and firing 81,000 staff, making the backlog for GI Bill and pension claims even worse. How many who survived the battlefield will die waiting because of a vote in Congress? Boebert betrayed us. Call her on it. So look, great ad, fantastic ad, true ad, facts are delivered here. If you're a vet, the veterans in America are a massive voter block. I don't know the statistics of whether they're more politically active than other groups. I don't know. I, I hope and wish that would be the case. And I would think that this ad would have information for them, for me, for us, that would animate us to action. There's certainly an outsized number of veterans in her district who need to know this information, that she is a dangerous charlatan who is there to advance there, meaning Congress, who is uh, blocks away from where I am now, uh, who is there to advance her own career aspirations. She's not there to help you. She's not there to better my life as a veteran. It's all lip service. It is nonsense. Oh, thank the troops. Thank you for your service. The thing that gets said to veterans all the time. Let me, I don't speak for all veterans. I speak for myself. But let me say this, Lauren Boebert. Save your thanks. Thank us with your vote. Thank us by funding programs that will make the lives of disabled vets better, easier, not as miserable or horrid based on their service-connected disabilities. Turn in your troll badge and actually become the representative, the member of Congress, the person with a vote that you were elected to be. It's not all about owning the libs, dum-dum. You actually have a constituency 
to represent. And if you can't do the job, if you're late to votes and you can't make it, resign. I'm sure Adam Frisch, the man who just barely didn't win the seat by just a couple hundred votes, I'm sure he would love a crack at the job and would be overwhelmed by the opportunity to represent a constituency in that district in Colorado. Good job, vote vets. More of this is needed. Uh, If you want to support that organization, I'll put a link in the description below. I'm sure they would appreciate it. Uh, If you want to sound off, you can leave a comment. You can also call and leave me a voicemail. 714-576-4054. Of course, you can email me daily at dollamore.com as always. If you haven't subscribed to the channel, please do. I am on a quest to get to 500,000 subscribers by the end of the year. And it's only with your help. I mean, it's only with your help that I'm going to be able to do it. I can't subscribe to my own channel. So uh, I need you. I need your help. Uh, If you want to support my work in other ways, you can click the join button below. Become a channel member. You can click the super thanks button below. You can click the merch below. Buy a t-shirt or something. You can also go over to patreon.com slash I doubt it podcast. Follow me on social media. I'm just about everywhere. At Dollamore is my handle. And I'm going to see you next time. I love and appreciate you guys. Thanks for your passion for the country and for making this world a better place. Be genuine. Take care of one another.